Now we have the uh, cul-de-sac. Next, we'll do a cul-de-sac here, so a roadway cul-de-sac. Very similar to the curb returns in the fact that um, we search for an element and push a comp section or a section around it, as well as design the profile through that site element. So in our case, we need to choose the object that we're going to add the cul-de-sac to. We give you a, a picker, or you can use the punch down list. The search radius, that'll be searching from the um, what we call the cul-de-sac marker. Here you can see a, there's a purple circle there. So we'll be searching out from that point out to the elements that the elements that represent the cul-de-sac edge of pavement. So in our case, you know, about 56, 60 feet. So we want to you know, make sure that we find it, so we'll put 60 feet. Pavement edge, you, again, you have the option to do by feature or by symbology. So you can select the edge of pavement there. cul-de-sac marker is a circle that you place in the file. So you can see here if I zoom in I've got a circle placed in the file and so we need to we're going to look for a circle with a particular level weight and color. And again it would be a circle element. And the rest of it, the feature type, whether you want to add a section, that works similar to the curb section. So here we can use a comp section if we want and we can choose the cul-de-sac left or the cul-de-sac right for the right side or we can use the section and we have access to the table or a graphic we can query other elements that have sections on it we can build our own section at this point we can set the designated type of feature it would be for that the last element in the section we have similar to the curb return and using a section versus a comp section, you still have the ability to add it to the GPK file, the profile and alignment of the edge of pavement of that cul-de-sac. So I'll go ahead and click apply. It will design a profile. It'll go out there and compute the uh, cul-de-sac. or not. And it'll go out there and compute the cul-de-sac. So in this case, for some reason, it, I had to have that add to GPK turned on. You can see it's done the alignment and the profile there. It's stored that into Kogo. It's associated a chain and profile there, as well as any reference, uh, any dependent associations built off of it. Everything's on a comp section, so that won't show up in this case.